It's a great day in Seussville and I'm on my way. I'm the cat in the hat and I've come here today to show you some wonderful games we can play. It's a great day in Seussville today. You'll meet Horton. And you're tall. And Gerald Mulgrew. And Sneetches on Beaches. Adventure. It's time to have fun. There are songs you can sing. There are games to be won. We're so happy you're here that we just have to say. I am here at my see-it-all Seussville machine. If you look, you will soon see some friends on the screen. Before we can start, you will need to sign in. Please type your name here and click Go to begin. Now down in the town square of Seussville today, there is something exciting that's heading our way. For young Gerald McGrew has just built a new zoo. It's a beautiful zoo, and he's proud of it too. In my zoo, I won't have all that old-fashioned stuff. Bears and lions and tigers are not good enough. But if you will just help me, I'm sure we can find some beasts of a much more unusual kind. A ten-footed lion, an elephant cat, a red-haired Pulusky, and more stuff like that. But to catch beasts that people don't see every day, we'll have to go places quite out of the way. From the desert of Zind to the seas of South Peru, we will search for new animals for my new zoo. We'll travel through snowstorms, through sleet, and through rain in my fabulous new McGrew Zoo choo-choo train. Then Gerald put on his new zookeeper's hat. Now he had to decide to go this way or that. I need to find animals for my new zoo, but which way should I go? I could use help from you. So pick this way or that way and help me to find some beasts of a very unusual kind. I need to find animals for... When my great new zoo opens, it's sure to be news. But which beast should I have there? Please help me to choose. I should have one Bippo no Bungus at least, and one Zinazoo bird, or an East or West beast. And I could use a Bumble Club tub member, so I need you to help pick the way I should go. Off to Lake Winnebango, he went on a whim, where Thidwick the big-hearted moose liked to swim. And on top of his antlers, young Gerald had heard, lived the world-famous song-writing Zinazoo bird. Mr. Zinazoo bird, I was hoping that you would agree to come visit and sing at my zoo. I'm sure that your host, Mr. Thidwick, won't mind, for I've heard, for a moose, he's unusually kind. 
Well, sure, I'd be happy to sing at your zoo, but you'll have to invite all my band members, too. So as soon as you help us to write our new song, we'll all be delighted to come right along. Listen to the word that the Zinazoo bird says. Cat. His band members will think up other words. Find the word that rhymes with the Zinazoo's word. Cat. Hat. That's it. Car. Star. Car. Star. Great job. Let's all sing a runny song. Everybody sing along. It's our favorite game to play. We could run and sing all day. Once there was a famous cat who always wore a red striped hat. He drove a very fancy car because he was a movie star. We knew you'd be great all along. Now, help the band write one more song. Car. Once there was a famous cat who always wore a red striped hat. He drove a very fancy car because he was a movie star. Click on the Zinazoo bird to hear the words of the song again. Click on me if you want to write a new song. Sam Ham Sam Ham You did it! Box 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 You did it! Let's all sing a runny song to eat green eggs and ham. He sometimes eats them in a box and shares them with his friend, the fox. We knew you'd be great all along. Now, help the band write one more song. Book. Hook. Hook. Book. Hook. All right. Fish. Math, dish, fish, dish. Great job! Let's all sing a runny song. Everybody sing along. It's our favorite game to play. We could run and sing all day. In school, the fish read in a book, be careful not to bite a hook. If you will all be clever fish, you will never end up on a dish. Click on the Zinazoo bird to hear the words of the song again. Click on me if you want to write a new song. Fox. Fox. Box. Great job. Rocks. So rocks, socks. All right. Let's all sing a runny song. Everybody sing along. It's our favorite game to play. We could run and sing all day. Looking Mr. Fox wears purple shoes when in his box, but when he stands upon the rock, he always wears his bright blue socks. Click on the Zinazoo bird to hear the words of the song again. Click on me when you're ready to go. Okay, kids, we've done it. I think this is it. Together we've written a surefire hit. So, like it or not, we will sing it for you. And then we'll be ready to go to the zoo. Let's 
Dun, 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 dun. Once there was a famous cat who always wore a red striped hat. He drove a very fancy car because he was a movie star. I have a friend named Sam I am who loves to eat green eggs and ham. He sometimes eats them in a box and shares them with his friend the fox. In school, the fish read in a book, be careful not to bite a hook. If you will all be clever fish, you'll never end up on a dish. The funny-looking Mr. Fox wears purple shoes when in his box, but when he stands upon the rocks, he always wears his bright blue socks. Let's all sing a rhymey song. Everybody sing along. It's our favorite game to play. We could rhyme and sing all day. Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo. But our job isn't finished. Oh no, we're not through. We have to make certain we search everywhere. So to look for more animals, click over there. When my great new zoo opens, it's sure to be news. But which beast should I have there? Please help me to choose. I should have one bit. Next stop for McGrew was the Bumble Tub Creek, where the Bumble Tub Club floated by every week. He would choose the best one of the whole Bumble crew and make him a star in his new McGrew Zoo. Excuse me, I see it's a quarter past two, but I don't see the Bumble Tub crew floating through. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that is true. They have all been delayed. I'll explain it to you. The Bumble Club's tubs have all started to leak. They're in need of repairs. They're so old, they're antique. And this problem for Bumbles is hardly unique. You can count on it happening once every week. But if you will just help me, we'll fix them all fast. Then the Bumble Club's tubs will begin floating past. The first letter is missing from this word. Help fix the Bumble Tub by finding the missing letter. Bat. Click on the letter that completes the word and put it on the tub. B. B. That's it. C. C. That's it.
Jug, J, J. That's it. Log L O That's the letter to come to my zoo. Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo. But our job isn't finished. Oh no, we're not through. We have to make certain we search everywhere. So to look for more animals, click over there. I need to... When my great new zoo opens, it... Brave Gerald knew what he should do to get a beast for his new zoo. He'd search the world from west to east, and he would find one beast, at least. When Gerald traveled for a while, he came upon a tiny isle, and there he found, and this is true, card-playing beasts. Not one, but two. We each put two cards on the table. Look carefully, and if you're able, Click on the one that doesn't go with the three other cards that show. Help me find the beast that's best. Click on the card that's different from the others. That's 
that's right. The card shows a plum. The other cards show apples. Ha! I win! Good job. That card shows a ring. The other cards show watches. <laughs> That's right! That card shows a balloon. The other cards show balls of yarn. <laughs> shows a fox. The other cards show bears. <laughs> this card game is quite fun to play. Let's play again. We have all day. Please play again and help me see which beast is best to take with me. Right? That card shows a rose. The other cards show socks. <laughs> Good job. That card shows a full jar of jam. The other cards show empty jars. shows a yak. The other cards show a moose. Ha! I win! Good job! That card shows a web. The other cards show nets. Ha! I win! This card game is quite fun to play. Let's play again. We have all day. Please play again and help me see which beast is best to take with me. That's right. That card shows a pan. The other cards show dishes. Yippee! I win! Good job! That card shows a rat. The other cards show mice. <laughs> Right? That card shows the sun. The other cards show the moon. My card won! Good job! That card shows a snake. The other cards show snails. <laughs> The card game is all done. I think maybe the East Beast won. But when I look from west to east, I think I like the East Beast's least. I'm so confused. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll take them both back to my zoo.
welcome my friends to the new McGrew Zoo. But our job isn't finished. Oh no, we're not through. We have to make certain we search everywhere. So to look for more animals, click over there. When my great new zoo opens, it's sure to be news. But which beast should I have there? Please help me to choose. I should have one. Gerald set off on foot. If he didn't delay, he could reach far off Hippo No Hungus that day, where a family of Bippo No Bungus he knew would be really delighted to move to his zoo. <laughs> I'm the mother of all these cute Bippo No Bungus. My children are sweet, but my problem's humongous. I've 26 Bippos who all look the same. Though I try, I can never remember each name. So I knitted each one of my children a sweater. To tell them apart, I just look at each letter. But my kids play a game that they think will amuse me. They take off their sweaters and try to confuse me. The Bippos are in alphabetical order, but some are missing their sweaters. To help Mother Bippo tell them apart, put each sweater back on the right Bippo. Q Q S That's the one! V V Z Z M M G G D D J J Thank you for helping me. You are the best. It takes me forever to get my kids dressed. Andy, Randy, Cleopatra, Eddie, Freddy, Gladys, Hugh, Pinky, Jinky, Katie, Blue, Laura, Nora, Arlie, Crew, Quentin. such fun, so let's play it again, before all the Bippos go back to their den. B. That's the one. E. E. H. H. K. K. M. That's it. P. P S S Y Y. Bippo of mine is a mischievous child, so without all your help, they'd be driving me wild. Andy, Randy, Cleopatra, Eddie, Freddy, Gladys, Hugh, Pinky, Jinky, Katie, Blue, Laura, Nora, Arlie, Crew, Quentin, Rachel. Dressed every Bippo. Let's do it again. I haven't had such fun since I don't know when. A. A. D. That's the one. H. That's it. J. J. O. O. L L F. Try again. W. 
at S W W. It is lucky for me that you happened along. Now my sweet Bippo children will sing you a song. Andy, Randy, Cleop, True, Eddie, Freddy, Gladys, Hugh, Pinky, Chinky, Katie, Lou, Laura, Nora, Ali, Crew, Quentin, Rachel, Flora, Tom, Uma, Mira, Lena, Fred, and Xavier, Yardley, now you see. Our song is all finished, and now that we're through, we will all be delighted to come to your zoo. Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo. I need to find animals for my new zoo, but which way should I go? I could use help from you. Ten, so pick this way 15. or that way and help me to find some beasts of a very Ten, unusual kind. Twenty, twelve. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Now I need to find beasts to fill up my new zoo, but there's so much to choose from, I need help from you. Should I go get a Sneech or a cute Barbaloot who is dancing around in his Barbaloot suit? Or a glove-wearing Snuff? Or a tall birthday pet? Won't you help me to pick the next one I should get? So Gerald McGrew set right out on his quest, for his zoo young McGrew wanted only the best. He would go to the faraway Isle of Catru, where he'd heard that the wonderful birthday pets grew. Birthday bird, everyone tells me that you grow some wonderful birthday pets here in Catru. So do me a favor, a not very small one, and give me a birthday pet. Make it a tall one. I could never say no to a nice boy like you, so I'll give you my best pet to take to your zoo. And if you'll help me measure from smallest to tallest, we'll see that your zoo gets the tallest of allest. How many pugil horns high is this pet? Click on the pugil horn next to the birthday bird. Stack pugil horns next to the birthday pet to see how tall it is. Click on me when you're done. That's it! That pet is one pugil horn high. How many sandwiches high is this pet? Click on the sandwich next to the birthday bird. Stack sandwiches next to the birthday pet to see how tall it is. Click on me when you're done. You did it! That pet is four sandwiches high. How many umbrellas high is this pet? Click on the umbrella next to the birthday bird. Stack umbrellas next to the birthday pet to see how tall it is. Click on me when you're done. You did it! That pet is three umbrellas high.
Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo. But our job isn't finished. Oh no, we're not through. We have to make certain we search everywhere. So to look for more animals, click over there. Now I need to find beasts to fill. Our Gerald decided he wanted to go to the Lorax's forest where truffulas grow and the barbalutes play in the fresh morning breeze neat the bright colored tufts of the truffula trees. When Gerald arrived, all the brown barbalutes were helping the Lorax pick truffula fruits. Pardon me, Mr. Lorax. I wonder if you would let some of your barbaloots visit my zoo. You're a very nice boy, and I'd like to say yes, but I can't let them go now. We're busy. Unless, if you'll help us to pick and then count all our fruit, you can take home a barbaloot in his cute suit. Help the Lorax count truffula fruits. Look at the number on the barbaloots cart then, pick that number of truffula fruits and put each one in the cart. Pick two truffula fruits and put them in the cart. One. Two. You did it! Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. fruits in the Lorax's cart and click that number on the number line. That's right! Two plus one equals three. Great job! Let's pick some more. Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. Great job! Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. Count the number of fruits in the lore. You did it! One plus one equals two. All right! Let's pick more truffula fruits. Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. That's right. Pick two truffula one. fruits and put them in the two. Count all the fruits in the Lorax's. That's right. One plus two equals three. Great job. in his barbaloot suit would like you to pick some more truffula fruit. Pick one truffula one. Great job. Pick three truffula fruits and put one. them in the cart. Two. Three. Right? One plus three equals four. Great job!
Let's pick some more. Pick one trucula fruit and put it in the cart. One. That's right. Pick one trucula fruit and put it in the cart. One. Count the number of fruits in the lore. You did it! One plus one equals two. All right. Let's pick some more. Pick two truffula fruits one. and put them in the cart. Two. Great job. Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. Count the number of fruits in the Lorax's cart and click that number. That's right. Two plus one equals three. Great job. We're the cute barbaloots in our barbaloot suits And we spend every day picking trough yellow fruits We're the barbaloots As we frisk and we frolic around in the breeze We are half in the lore as we land in the trees For the trees. Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. Put the truffula fruit in the cart. One. Great job. Pick one truffula. One. One plus one equals two. All right. Help the Lorax pick more truffula fruits. Pick two truffula one. fruits and put them in the cup. Two. That's right. Pick three truffula fruits and put them in the cart. Two. Three. Count the number of fruits in the Laura. You did it! Two plus three equals five. All right! Let's pick some more. Pick two truffula fruits and put them in the cart. One. Two. Great job! Pick one truffula fruit and put it in the cart. One. Count all the fruits in the Lorax. That's right! Two plus one equals three. Great job! Thank you for helping. And now that we're through, we have a small present we'd like to give you. It's a truffula seed. If you plant it with care, soon your zoo will have truffula trees everywhere. Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo, but our job isn't... I... 
Now I need to find beasts to... So Gerald McGrew set right off for the beach, where he knew he would see a nice beach-loving Sneech. Not a plain-bellied Sneech, he'd want one with a star. And for star-bellied Sneeches, you had to go far. If you must have a star-bellied Sneech for your zoo, help me fix my machine, and I'll get one for you. This pattern I've made has a few empty spaces, so find the right shapes, put them in the right places, and then you'll have fixed up my shapes on machine. Or my name's not Sylvester McMonkey McBean. Help Sylvester McMonkey McBean fix his shapes on machine. Click on the shape that comes next in the pattern. I knew you could do it! Play one more time, then young Gerald McGrew will have star-bellied Sneeches to take to his zoo. Great job! Fix some more patterns, and when you are through, some star-bellied sneeches will come to my zoo. Great job! Play one more time, then young Gerald McGrew will have star-bellied Sneeches to take to his zoo. I knew you could do it! Fix some more patterns, and when you are through, some star-bellied Sneeches will come to my zoo. You did it! Play one more time, then young Gerald McGrew will have star-bellied Sneeches to take to his zoo. Great job! Fix 
some more patterns, and when you are through, some star-bellied sneeches will come to my zoo. One more time, then young Gerald McGrew will have star bellied stages to take to his zoo. Great job. more patterns and when you are through some star-bellied sneeches will come to my zoo I knew you could do it One more time, then young Gerald McGrew will have star bellied stages to take to his zoo. I knew you could do it. Fix some more pack. I knew you could. Please play one more time. I knew you could. Hey, Dominic McGrew, you're a fix it up champion. The speeches have stars, and that makes them all happy. So pick out some speeches to take to your zoo, and I'm sure they'll be happy to go there with you. Every speech on the beach is delighted to say that we each have a shape on our belly too. And if you had a shape on your little belly too, we would take you along to the new and zoo. We are star-bellied speeches and we sing out loud, we're the best on the beaches, so we're very proud. We don't like to give speeches, but you know it's true, if you'd like to reach us, we'll be in the zoo. Welcome, my friends, to the new McGrew Zoo, but our job isn't finished. Now I need to find beasts to... For his zoo, young McGrew knew he really would love...
to discover and bring back a glove-wearing snub. So he went to the mountains of Fatima Fry, where he found a wild snub hanging gloves out to dry. Mrs. Snub, I have hunted all over for you. Now I'd like to invite you to visit my zoo. Can't you see that I'm busy? My gloves are all mixed up. I can't leave this place till my gloves get all fixed up. Each glove on this line is one half of a pair, and the glove that it matches is somewhere up there. So if you will help me to match up each glove, I will see that your very fine zoo gets its snub. Help the snubs match up their gloves. Click on a glove, then find the glove with the matching color. A perfect pair. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Try again. Whoops, find two gloves that match. A perfect pair. <laughs> I knew you could do it! Great job! Nice match! Good match! That's it! I knew you could do it! Nice match! Alright! You matched all the snub's gloves! the snubs match up their gloves. Click on a glove, then find the glove with the matching color. A perfect pair. Whoops! Find two gloves that match. Great job! Wrong one. Try again. A perfect pair. Whoops! Find two gloves that match. That's it! job! That's it! Whoops, wrong one. Try again. I knew you could do it! That's it! That's it! You did it! You found all the matching pairs! Help the snubs match up their gloves. Click on a glove, then find the glove with the matching color. Find two gloves that match. I knew you could do it! Whoops, wrong one. Try again. A perfect pair. 
Whoops, wrong one. Try again. Whoops, find two gloves that match. Good match. Nice match. Whoops, find two gloves that match. Whoops, find two gloves that match. I knew you could do it! That's it! I knew you could do it! Whoops! Find two gloves that match! Good match! A perfect pair! All your lovely snuff gloves are in pairs, I believe. Now it's getting quite late, so we really must leave. I thank you for helping me sort out this mess. Now I'm off with McGrew to the new zoo, I guess. When Gerald returned to the Seussville Town Square, he was happy to see that his friends were all there. Ladies and gentlemen, small children too, I am happy to welcome you to my new zoo. Then the people rushed in, and they stopped, and they got at the strangest odd creatures that ever have walked. They were also surprised that they swallowed their gum. Where did Gerald McGrew get these animals from? He traveled the world from the east to the west just to make his new zoo, the McGrew Zoo, the best. Gerald now is the greatest of all the McGrewses. So what will he do next? Anything that he chooses. I need to find animals for my new zoo, but which way should I go? I could use help from you. So pick this way. Are you sure you want to leave? Well, we've had lots of fun down in Seussville today. Now it's getting quite late. I must be on my way. But remember, the next time that you want to play, just look for the cat in the hat and I'll say... It's a great day in Seussville and I'm on my way. I'm the cat in the hat and I've come here today.